Hey there YouTube, it's Renderer and today I'm gonna to run you through all the things I think you should ask a client before giving your price. Number one, oftentimes if they're manufacturing something, they have access to a 3D model that you can use, which saves you a lot of time. If not, you should ask them for a reference photo, which generally can just be a top down and side profile. Just get all sides so you can see everything. But without good reference photos, it might be hard to model some things accurately. Also make sure you're decent at modeling. I'm not the best modeler, but worst case scenario, if the project seems worth it, I can just pay somebody on Fiverr to model it. The second thing you should ask is what is the purpose of this render? What do they want to achieve with it? Is it just an aesthetic little thing for their branding or is it a whole advertisement where they're trying to sell something or a multitude of other options like this. You might want to ask who's the target audience. And by the way, many of the things in this video will vary quite a bit due to the nature of your project, but I'm just running you through what I personally do when I'm making a deal with a client. But yeah, for all of my animations, I start by drawing out a storyboard in collaboration with my clients. And this kind of brings me to number three, which is what is the desired length of the animation? Generally, I seek jobs where the animations are under 15 seconds or so, just because I think it's more fun to put an insane amount of detail into like a short piece rather than some drawn out type of movie. And generally with TikTok and YouTube shorts and Instagram reels, we're looking at short form content anyways. That's just kind of the way that things are going. That's why I keep these videos under five minutes. Entertainment is just getting shorter. So I personally like just doing a very detailed short video because who's really watching an ad for a whole minute? The fourth thing I like to ask is what is the format of this animation? Is it gonna be shown on a website? Is it for an Instagram post? Is it for an Instagram story? If you're not already, you should familiarize yourself with aspect ratios. I use a website called wearethefirehouse.com and they have a very good aspect ratio cheat sheet that I use all the time. And yeah, nailing down a resolution for the project and figuring out where that content is going to be presented is really important because this can affect render times a lot. If the client wants a 4K video, that's essentially 1080p times 4. So it's going to take almost four times as long as a standard HD video. But this is also important because this partially determines how much effort you need to put into the background and to the little tiny details that are far away. Because if you have a big 4K monitor like me, you can see kind of a crazy amount of detail when the screen's really small. But if you're like watching it on an old, you know, low quality TV, maybe Maybe the little details in the back don't matter so much. So it just depends on where the video is going to be. Another big one to lock down early is figuring out the frame rate. And I know this is familiar with all of you, but I've run into a surprising amount of clients who don't really understand the concept of a frame rate. Generally people who are older in their 30s, 40s, 50s maybe. But it's important to tell them that 24 FPS is the standard cinematic type of thing, you'll notice that in films, it's not buttery smooth generally. But if you're going for a super modern and refined and technical look, maybe 60 FPS is the way to go, but you have to also realize that that's gonna be quite literally more than double the frames. And I'm not sponsored by them, but I highly, highly recommend Concierge Render. If you aren't familiar, Concierge Render is just a cloud rendering service. You can take your scene and then you can pack it, which basically brings all of the images and the assets and the textures and the materials and everything all into one dot blend file. And then you can upload that packed file into Concierge Render and give it all of the specifications, tell it exactly what to do. So recently this render I was doing was taking five minutes per frame on my NVIDIA RTX 37 DTI. So I ended up using Concierge Render to speed things up and I used their two NVIDIA A40s cloud rendering package. And I ended up paying $14.22, but I got all 131 remaining frames of the animation done in eight minutes. Meanwhile, my objectively high-end PC was doing five minutes per frame. So definitely a good tool to keep on your belt in a pinch. And in most cases, clients are willing to pay a small price to get it done faster. You can even maybe upsell them, say, you know, the render is gonna take like three days if you want to speed things up, that'll be 40 bucks or whatever. You end up just paying 15, 20 bucks to have concierge render do the thing. They get the animation sooner and you get full access to your PC so it's not just baking for three days in a row. So the sixth thing I recommend doing is to ask what the timeline is. I've talked to a number of clients who have extremely unrealistic expectations as far as when work like this gets done. I had someone expecting like a highly detailed one minute animation in like a week and a half and I'm just like... Yeah, sorry. But it's good to come to an agreement on that just so the expectations are clear. You don't want to be that guy who's overselling and under delivering. Always do the latter. If you think it's going to be like three weeks, say it's going to be like three and a half weeks or four weeks, and then it just makes you look better. And you basically just set the bar lower than you know you can go, and then you excel. And then worst case scenario, you have a little bit of extra time if you end up running into trouble along the way. And then the seventh thing that I recommend asking a client before getting started is whether there are any specific design or branding requirements for the render. Do we have a color theme that we need to work with? Oftentimes brands will have their own kind of colors that they want to go after and they'll give you a hex code for that. Are we matching an Instagram theme? Are we going super modern and minimalist? Or are we going like super maximalist and putting a lot of detail into things? Because as many of you know, building complex scenes is a little bit of a challenge and it takes a while. So it's good to get an expectation as to, am I going to be building out a super complex scene for, you know, 20, 30 seconds of animation? or is it going to be one minimalist scene that I basically can build in 10 minutes and then animate in an hour and then call it good. And one tip for this is if you guys are struggling to come to an understanding of kind of the vibe you're going after, I've said it before and I'll say it again, use Pinterest. You can build a collaborative board where they can show a bunch of ideas that are like kind of the vibe that you want to go for. And generally you'll be pretty set and you'll have a 
And generally by doing this, you'll avoid the change this, change this, change this, change revision process that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. So yeah, that's just about all I have for today. If you guys don't know me already, I'm Renderer. I make videos about how to make money with Blender as a 3D designer. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and hit the like, and that'll guarantee that you don't miss any future posts. At this time, I'm small enough where I can read all of the comments. So if you have any specific questions relating to these things, or you have an idea for a future video, I am very open and will respond to you. See ya.